The rain finally stayed away in Texas and we had quite the day on Thursday at the AT&T Byron Nelson from animal attacks to chip-ins. Here is everything you have got to see from day one at TPC Four Seasons. Let's start with the animals because we love animals. In what I'm now calling Wasp Watch, our live ad coverage had eyes on Mike Weir as he approached the 10th hole and then was stung. The welt only got bigger, forcing him to ask for medical attention and then he had to suck it up and play on. Like Weir hasn't battled through enough elbow problems, wasps out in Dallas are absolutely heartless. And because we can, check out this guy grazing on the 10th. And then this bird taking a crazy dancing bath in standing water. All right, now let's get to some actual highlights. John Sendon put in the bomb of the cup without the putter on 15. Whoa, seen it in. And Ken Duke chipped in for birdie on 18, his ninth. And well done. Very well done. Ken Duke with an unlikely birdie. Ricky Barnes closed out his round in style with a walk off chip in, also on 18. And a birdie. Well done, Ricky. We also had our first hole in one of the week coming from Danny Lee on the 17th. Now the cameras only caught the reactions, but we talked to him just to prove that it actually happened. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Like I said before to other media guys, um, I'm just really blessed. I was able to make hole in one right in front of my family and friends, all my fans out there. It was pretty special and I'm just really happy I made their day. Now, if the animals didn't warm your heart enough, how about some good old fashioned romance? Over on the web.com tour, Darren Stiles is competing at the Rex Hospital Open, and he also was celebrating he and his wife's anniversary. While he did not let work get in the way, he wrote her a love note. Stiles surprised his wife Kim with this love note on the scoreboard, including a picture from their wedding album, which he brought with him to the tournament. It read, Kim, thank you for being my wife, but most of all, my best friend. I think Styles just seriously up the ante for all of the guys watching this. Sorry about it. Okay, Stephen Bowditch leads after an 8 under 62 on Thursday. That ties his career low, and that's all I got for you here from day one at the AT&T Byron Nelson. I'll see you right back here Friday night.